I fake the road by Nick Drake without the weird tuning, just drop D, capo four. So it's kind of um not four, is that four? Yeah. This D so this D add nine is about as close as we can come. I mean C add nine to what he's doing. So at the beginning we're gonna go wait. Shit, let me think about it for a second. get the idea. Um, and then Gregory Allen, um, Isaacov, uh, with some basic stuff here, and the pull off, the high F rate on the D string. When he goes to his G, he rarely picks up his first finger. Excuse me, I can't get a good angle on that. It's a G sus4. I don't know any of the rhythms, they're off, off balance a little bit, as you know. The only other thing that he does is um, often during the verse when he goes to that G from the F, he keeps that first finger. So G sus is sort of the main takeaway. Occasionally the bass, when we get to the C, it starts alternating. Um, but also, we talked about using dominant seventh chords as portals into new keys and how they create an expectation that you can then confirm or deny uh, and create harmonic interest. So a little exercise I gave you is to go C, C, and then E, E7, now we're in the relative minor. So that E is heard like a cloud, whereas the G is heard like a sunshine, because it's, you're anticipating that, that major chord. That kind of highlights what he's doing. And Exercises like that, where you pull between the major and the relative minor, can be done in any key, and they can help tune your ear up to how dominant seventh chords work to draw us into new keys. Have fun.